The massive storm made landfall Sunday afternoon and slowly made its way north through the country. Many residents in rural areas found themselves without power as high winds knocked down important infrastructure. Roads and highways were temporarily closed as road workers worked quickly to remove debris and other road hazards left by the storm. Service of the Japanese bullet train, known as the Shinkansen, was temporarily halted while the storm moved through Kyushu. Japanese convenience stores, known for always being open, closed in preparation for the storm. Here in the city, a large crane was damaged by the high winds, forcing nearby residents to evacuate. At least two were killed as a result of the typhoon, with one of those deaths being the result of a landslide triggered by the storm. In the aftermath, residents in the downtown area here have worked quickly to return life back to normal. Streets have been cleared of debris, boarded up windows have been uncovered, and shops have reopened. The fourth largest typhoon to ever make landfall in Japan bombarded this area, forcing thousands to evacuate. Mitchell Stapleton reporting for CGTN from Kagoshima City.